So let's talk about what we saw in China and how it affects the NBA and how things stand right now. And I should point out that on Thursday night, when we are uh, in San Francisco for opening night there, the commissioner, Adam Silver, will be joining us and we'll have a chance to talk to him about that. But here's the thing. When this was going down, Shaq, and people may not know, we've kind of got an inside joke here because you spend so much time in China that it's almost like, what are, what are you doing this weekend, Shaq? Um, going to China. Yeah, you, because you've been there a lot for, I, I assume, for business over there. Yes. So how did you watch as all this played out? We as American people, we do a lot of business in China and they know and understand our values and we understand their values. And one of our best values here in America is free speech. We're allowed to say what we want to say and we're allowed to speak up about injustices and that's just how it goes. And if people don't understand that, that's something that they have to deal with. But, you know, I just think just thought it was unfortunate for, you know, both parties. And then you got people speaking when they don't know what they're talking about. But you know, Daryl Morey was right. Whenever you see something wrong going on anywhere in the world, you should have the right to say that's not right. And that's what he did. And but but again, you know, when it comes to business, sometimes you have to tiptoe around things. But again, they understand our values. We understand our values in here. We have the right to speak, especially with the social media. We're going to say whatever we want to say, when we want to say it. I realize that, and, and I'll get into where I fall on that thing, but I'd like to hear you, Kenny. What did you have the biggest problem with? Did you have a big, uh, problem with Daryl Morey tweeting that out? No, I didn't have a problem with him tweeting it out because that's the way he felt. That's the research he did in his mind. That's what he thought was uh, pertinent at the time. Um, you know, it would just kind of be the same way. If, if, if we don't allow Daryl Morey, right, Morey, even if you believe him or not, to speak, it would like saying LeBron, shut up and dribble. Like, he has an opportunity to speak. If you agree or don't disagree, you have that opportunity to combat it with valid information and valid points to co be contrary to it. The same way you would have had to do that when LeBron was speaking on social justice as Chris Paul was and Carmelo Anthony, you would have the right. And the same way with um, and when, when the kneeling was going on in football, you have the right to speak about it if you don't like it, like it, or you feel it's an injustice. So I didn't have a problem with him talking or him tweeting whatever he wanted to do. Well, I had a problem because the Rockets are pop. They're the most popular team. If anybody else had sent, sent a tweet, it probably would. It, it, we would have raised my eyebrows. But because the Houston Rockets and their affiliation with Yao Ming, they're the most popular team in China. So that was the first thing he should have thought about. Like, I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for the entire Rockets organization. And like I say, because of Yao Ming, the Rockets are by far and away the most popular team in China. You can't come to my country and make money and insult me. We don't get to impress our values on other countries. Oh, that's my first thing. Secondly, listen, I thought what happened to LeBron was unfair. Darryl Murray had the right to say it, but he didn't look at the big picture. But I thought what happened to LeBron was unfair because LeBron was caught in the middle for three reasons. Number one, LeBron makes a billion dollars a year from Nike. Nike makes six billion dollars a year in China. The NBA makes billions of dollars a year in China. All these other American companies make money in China. Why is it up to the NBA Adam Silver, LeBron James, to ruin their financial situation when all these other companies are allowed to make money in China? Yeah, I don't, I don't think, Chuck, it was about the companies making China, I think that, again, if you feel you, there is social injustice going on, you have this right to speak. You have the right but you to have the valid, You have to be valid and have a valid explanation of why your point is. Let, let me make, the, let me make this that. point based on what you said, because I, I know what you're saying, and I know what you're saying, and I know the availability of social media makes your opinion, boom, instantaneous if you want it out there. I think... I don't disagree, and I don't think Daryl Morey was, was misinformed by the situation in Hong Kong. I think he knew what was going on there, but I think you also have to know what the purpose of your trip is and the timing of something like that, because I think the timing of it is what, is what sent everything sideways. Um, I think back to when I went to Cuba before the U.S. could go to Cuba back in 1991, and we were there to, with ABC 
to broadcast the Pan American games. Mm -hmm. The last thing I was going to do when I got there is say, man, this Fidel Castro's got to go. Yeah. That's not what I'm going to do when I'm there. Look, I agree. And I say, I think there's a responsibility I, I, I when you're in your country and you, you can see do that. something. Yeah. I mean, you say, right. hey, that's an injustice. I'm calling you out on that. But I think you has, there has to be some restraint when you go overseas and you go to a place there you're not there to change the political system you're there and you're not uh, going to uh, i know all, and, yeah, and you're yeah. basically you're basically there on a goodwill trip with the nba which has worked for ages on this relationship so i think there's got to be some restraint and i but i don't have a problem with what was tweeted it was it's more to me when it was yeah and, I, was and, and I agree i hear what you're saying ernie maybe not agree but i hear what you're saying but he also the reason you're bringing light if he was on the if he's on the side of what was going on in Hong Kong, he's on that side. He understood that the only time he's going to bring light to it is now. So I he's not going to. No, you can't. He's not going to come back. To, like if he tweeted that today, it doesn't you get the think. attention. We're not talking about it on air. No, we're I not talking. So you're talking about someone who's looking for social injustice and saying it. They feel that way. He feels it. He's going to do it when he can believe that it's going to get the attention of what's going on. I, I mean, that's the way. Social injustice is yeah, yeah, in America. Listen, how, That's the way it's been, it worked here. How about the way the league handled it? Great. The league was called, like I say, the same with LeBron. I hear all these idiots and fools and jackasses on television and radio talking about uh, bad about LeBron. He sold out for the money. First of all, there's nothing wrong with him protecting his money, number one. That's the first thing. But secondly, he was protecting the NBA's money, and he was protecting Nike's money. Why, why, why is that such a bad thing? LeBron had nothing to do with this tweet. Nothing to do with this tweet. Why should he sacrifice? Like, on all these people who criticize LeBron. So you think he was being sacrificed? He was being sacrificed. Again. Uh, no, I'm saying, I'm talking about, no, I mean, his Again. money was going to be affected by Daryl Morey's tweet. Oh, if, 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 if LeBron had a came out and insulted China. But it, he didn't. No, I'm saying if he didn't say anything, you think? Oh, uh, no, no, once he said something. Okay. Uh, but my point is, if he had a trash China, it would have hurt Nike and the NBA and himself. I agree with that, but however, China can't tell us what to do and we can't tell them what to do. That's the bottom line. Yeah, and I agree we with that. We can send tweets, we got free speech, we can say what we want to say when we want to say it, but. But we all have a responsibility to our employer too. Yeah, yeah, what you do. want to call it, selling out of whatever. Uh, I can't come no. on. T I, don't, I can come on TV uh, and say anything I want to politically. I can't do that. Well, you've been doing it. For no, 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 no. I can. No, I can yeah, joke about. I've been hey, sitting next I, to you for I the last joke, twenty years. I can yeah. joke about basketball, and it seems longer. Uh, <laughs> it uh, does. I, but you, no, seriously, Darren Murray. I don't have a problem he, with he what he tweeted. Listen, Darren Murray is he's done a good job, but his uh, his. His allegiance is to the Houston Rockets no, I don't, and, the, and the NBA. I don't and, think and, that's, and, and, and listen, and he can re, he can quit if himself. he's not happy with it. No, he, 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 he can quit if he's not happy he with it. Say I don't like the Rockets. <laughs> and you know what? what you let me let me just say this last thing because I know, I know you said this wouldn't work, but look, if Daryl Morey comes back from that trip and comes back to Houston and tells the Houston Chronicle. Look, I want to write an op-ed piece about my experience as a U.S. citizen in China and talk about Hong Kong and talk about China. That would get legs. That would that would be picked up there and the way. But that's are. the way I've been mean, saying, that's Ernie. That's, that's the way you, you could, would have done it. But he did it that way. No, and that, we but can't but fault him for doing yes, it the you way can, he wanted because, to do it. Because he did it from the confines of his little friendly home. In why them it, Why them NBA players was over there? Exactly. That's what LeBron point, said. Yeah. Wait, he tweeted, and then we had to go, we had to go over there.